Hi, I'm Barry Winfield with SmartCycleShopper.com. We're here in Hollywood at Hollywood Electrics, a store that's dedicated to the sale of electric-only motorcycles. And we're here to ride the range of zero electric bikes. So Zero Motorcycles is a high-performance electric motorcycle company. It was founded in 2006 in Neil Psyche's Santa Cruz, California garage. And from there, it's become a global company. And here we have our 2010 Zero S electric motorcycle. It does about 67 miles per hour, has a range of between 40 and 50 miles if you're riding around the city. Uh, you can see here it's got a, a beautiful aircraft grade aluminum frame. This thing was built from the ground up to leverage all the benefits of the electric motorcycle technology. Uh, you can plug it into any 110 outlet, so charge anywhere. It's got direct drive gearing here on the back, so it's got instant torque, instant power from a standstill. It takes this motorcycle four hours to charge from completely depleted to 100%. New for 2010, we've got this zero Corbin seat, and we've just introduced colors into the lineup. So everything was white before, now you can have your own choice of colors. Uh, we expect these batteries and the power packs to last around five years, and even then, you're still gonna be riding it. You just might notice your range is a little bit reduced. And it comes with a, a two-year warranty, no maintenance, no hassle, and very inexpensive to operate at a penny per mile. These motorcycles are available now. The price of the Zero S is about $74.95 after a California state tax credit and an additional $1,000 off with a federal tax credit. So the retail cost of these, available online at zeromotorcycles.com, is $99.95. So the Zero DS is the dual sport motorcycle. It's based off of the Zero S, but has more robust suspension on the front and rear. It also has dual sport tires that are designed for off-road use, and you can take it on the highway. So this is the Zero MX. It's a high-performance off-road track bike. Um, it's lightweight. Uh, the dirt bike line starts in weighing at about 161 pounds, which is incredibly lightweight for a dirt bike. Um, and it's got this direct drive gearing. It's got the Z-Force power pack. And the combination of this means that you can go on trails or the track, and it's excellent for anything that's technical because you've always got power 100% of the time at the twist of the throttle without having to shift. So this guy's got robust suspension. It's got custom internal front fork. It's got a custom internal on the rear. And with the low weight, this thing is great for taking around a track, hitting a few jumps, and hanging out with your friends. So the range on the Zero X or the Zero MX is about two hours. And we say two hours cruising around on a track or cruising around on a trail. If you're hitting it really hard, it's gonna be a bit less than that, but there's a good chance you're gonna tire yourself out while you're riding anyways. The recharge time on the Zero X or MX is about two hours. Um, again, it's hot swappable. And if you wanna keep riding throughout the day, all you have to do is take this pack out, put in another, and keep riding. And on the Zero X and MX, we have customizable speed settings. So we've got a high and low torque setting, so for greater or less acceleration. And we've got the speed setting. So this motorcycle is going to be good for the hardcore motorcycle rider who's hitting the technical trails or the track, to the less aggressive who just want a bike to ride around on, or maybe they're new to the sport. So one of the things that's so unique about the Zero Motorcycles dirt bike line is it's completely silent. So right now the motorcycle's on. If I twist the throttle, we're moving. Imagine all the places that you could go with a motorcycle that's high performance, fast, fun, and completely silent. So these start at $74.95. They're available online at zeromotorcycles.com today. It's hard to say whether you could just have one of these motorcycles in your household. 
I think a dedicated motorcyclist would probably have to have a conventional bike too. But this is a really good solution for uh, various applications that you could use it for. And I think it, it ought to be thought about very seriously by somebody who plans to ride on an everyday basis. We'll be testing more of these bikes shortly, so look out for them on smartcycleshopper.com. Until then, I'm Barry Winfield. See you later.